Come in. Hi. Um, my name is Michael Arger and I'm a student by the State College. And I'm here to set up a pre rat troll for um, my patient. Uh, can you please say his name and date of birth for me, please? Sure, it's Harry Potter 625 2013. So cute. <laughs> Alright, that's correct. Thank you. And make sure that you check before you start your um, retro. Check for any expiration. Check for any uh, if, if it's open or um, whatever, uh, what's the hospital's policy. Okay. And also check for the solution. Make sure there's no leak and you have the right solution. And um, there's no any, it's not expired. Or, no. Hand hygiene. Did you already record this? So first I'm going to spike my solution. So I'll open this first. And then make sure everything is clamped. Before I emulate them. Okay, so we're going to get sourced. And now you have to make sure that you don't contaminate this spike because this will go inside the infusion bag and this one also because this will go um, to your patient's to, um, IV tube, okay? So first I'm going to spike this. Be careful not to puncture the bag and to contaminate this. So now that I'm in, I can hang this. And make sure you label your bag um, for the date, the time, and the patient's name and everything. Okay. So now I'm going to start my First, I'm going to clamp this and put a 30 ml of this of solution in my in the chamber. So you can see that this is a straight ML. You got 30 ml? Now you have 30 ml, maybe start opening the air chamber. And then make sure this is half full. Now you can start your prime. Alright. So uncomp this. Make sure there's no air bubbles. And as you're going to do this, so just go follow the water while you're trying to. If there's bubbles, correct you. Um, or you can also use the sur um, syringe to take the bubbles out. But you just wait until it can start pressing. So far, yeah. so far yeah. it's starting to go ahead and wet my I So once you make sure that there's no more air and you are just ready to prime and it looks good. If you op if ever you open this, make sure that you clean it with alcohol pads and change the cover with um, different clean cover while you're preparing the IV for the kid, okay? And I'll insert this here and prepare the IV and check the MAR for any medications for the B-retro. And that's it. Come in. Hi, my name is Michael Arger and I'm, I'm, I'm a student from Nevada State College and I'm here to administer medication 
using the syringe pump to your baby. Do you mind, uh, can you please say his name and date of birth for me, please? Sure, it's um, Regina Philangi, 625-2013. Alright, thank you. I'm going to just double check on, on the wristband. Okay. Looks cute, thank you. Your baby is so cute. Alright. So now, make sure that you have a new um, tube and make sure it's sterile. Before you do this, make sure that you already drew your, your medication and make sure that you have the right dose, the right time and the right patient. Make sure you have the six rights and also check, triple check on the uh, on the MAR, the medications and the patients, the doctor's order, okay? So after that, make sure that you assess your patient, make sure that it's everything is clean, um, everything is good, and no bleeding on the IV side, no inflammation, no irritation, and you make sure that you document everything after, your, after you do the syringe pump. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean the um So first I'm going to clean this. And once it's clean, make sure that you also clean this part. And this part. Do you know that this is clean? Um, before you start, make sure that you check this. You check your solution. You, sh you check your tubing by. flushing. Make sure that everything is good. And now you're sure that everything is good. And you can go ahead and cover this make sure and this make sure that this is not contaminated and if you if you want you can clean this and put a, a clean stopper while you're preparing the IV now you can throw this in a sharp container sharp container throw and then now you can go ahead and Again, since since you were doing that, you can clean this also. You can clean this. Just to just for your palm to be safe, so everything's clean. Okay. So now it's clean. Now you can connect this. You can connect this here. And then this one also goes here. But make sure that you put throw this on the sharp container, and then you connect this here. Now you can go ahead and make sure that you put this slowly so you don't have any. Turn this on and make sure there's no bubbles. So once you're turning it on, you can go select for mono jack. ML per hour and then you can and then you select mono jack. And then I the machine saying check syringe. Now you can put 12 ml. So 12 ml, I confirm. And then the doctor order um 10 ml per, per um 10 ml per hour. You just put 10. Ten ml per hour. So I confirm. And now you have a 10 ml. So now it's starting. And now we can start.
No, just be very carefully so you won't spill any medication. And, then, and it's running. So now everything is good. Make sure that you check for any bubbles. And make sure you unplump this and unplump this. So now it's good. You can see the medication going. And maybe you can come back and like, um, 10 to 15 minutes to, to, um, to check your patient. All right, so um, I'll be right back to check on your baby, on your baby okay? And, uh, um, here's your caller and let me know if you need help, okay? Thank you. Thank you.